All right. Here in my secret stash, I have a, I have a rainbow blank and pine cone. And if you look right there, you can see the pine cone in here. And for this blank, I have decided that I'm going to use a Berea cigar style pen kit. Another paper towel to put my parts on so they don't go too far. Luckily for me and you, I have the matching pen set. That's better. But I think it's either 3 8 or 10 millimeter. It's always handy to have a good set of Wixy digital calibers in the shop. So we need a 3 8 inch drill bit. And um, I need to decide how I want to lay out my pin tubes in configuration with the pin blank. And I want more of the long end to be the nib end. And this is the nib. So I want, that's the pointy end of the pin. I want more of that to be on this end, on this direction. And I'll run to the bandsaw and cut this real quick. And, okay. It'll match up nicely to the pin tubes. So then, we need to go on a little trip. We're gonna go to my lathe. Start to lathe. Clear away your shavings. Back it out. Back it off. Bring it up. Go through, finish the cut. And that one turned really simple, easy. That's odd. And there's the second one. So this is the nib end, and this is the other end. So, Again. All right, that's how we get the tubes in. Once we get the tubes in, we go to the grinder. I got those ground, and the next thing in the operation is to turn them. Okay, everybody, this is what the blank looks like once it has the tube inserted and the ends have been trimmed. And there's the other one. The next part of the process is to go to the lathe. I have a lathe over here somewhere. And try to get you into a good position to see what I'm doing and all right this goes in here this is a mandrel saver and that's the pin mandrel 
And then I need a set of bushings for a cigar style pin. <sighs> All right, I've turned probably 500 of these pins, maybe more. The next to the biggest goes there. And then I'll put the next pin link the other way so it's correct. And then this one. Phew. There we go. The mandrel saver. Lock that down. And then bring up the tailstock, the quill. And bring up the tool rest. You want it close to parallel to the mandrel as it can be. And then with a spindle roughing gouge, we're going to rough this blank out. Okay, that's what a complete disaster looks like when you're turning a pin. The blank fell apart on the tube and there was no saving it. So, that is over and done. Well, I was able to save my tubes and that's it. We will try and complete something else. <laughs> that that's with pen turning, that's the way it goes sometimes. You think you got something really special and you end up with two blank pen tubes again. Alright, I'm going to get this out and let you guys see what can go wrong.